Hello yogis and welcome to my channel. My name is Ksenia and today I'm offering you a tutorial for the baby grasshopper or baby hopper pose. It's great pose for the arm balance, very interesting position for the entire body. And I will explain you two approaches in this pose that you can experience. And sometimes one approach from the bottom classical approach is not working well and it's heavy to bring yourself to lift up your hips so you can experience and start from the uh, top from the standing position so let's do it step by step and I will give you some tips and tricks and detailed explanation during actually doing this pose so let's start from the classical sitting position and of course you want to do this pose for both sides but I will show you now on one side on the left straight leg so you want to land straight your leg on the side you want to bring your right foot right in front of you and bring your foot as close as you can to the hip so you don't want to uh, block the knee zone and your foot should be like diagonal line like 45 degrees it gives nice base don't bring your hand right in front of you bring it like diagonal line also on the side on the left side in my case so uh, the idea here to lean your body to bring a little bit yourself to the front you bring your right hand on the side and here you give the grab on any level of your leg so if you are pretty okay with the hamstrings and you can reach your foot you grab with the foot ankles good you can also use the belt but it will be a little bit more challenging for the balance so i would advise to start from the ankle level then so i grab my foot now and the idea here from the hip belly chest to bring yourself to the front and move like you are going to lift up to stand up from the bottom in any semi standing position so you want to bring your weight a little bit to the front using really nice support of your hand and front foot to lift up your hips and if it's possible then you start to bend the elbow lift up the hips and holding the pose if it's too much too heavy I advise you just to do and to start with the straight arm so just lift up a little bit the hips bring your hip on supportive ankle and heel of your right foot so like using the base here maybe this is enough and this is the first stage and I consider it's already totally fine and challenging and great that you can hold lift up your hips and hold pose like this and step by step maybe you will do more chaturanga arms you will lift up and stay in more classical approach so the idea here also how to balance you want to press down through the foot to your hand it's pretty common idea in balancing position like dancer pose we also we want to press uh, through the foot to the hand keep it in mind sometimes it's really helping small tiny thing and if this approach is too heavy, uh, you feel that it's uh, really heavy to lift up your hips from the bottom, then try second approach from the top. It's really interesting approach because you want to learn also how to do inner rotation of your hips. Uh, and I would say maybe it's even more fun in this matter. So what we are going to do is uh, to bring ourselves on the feet, uh, something similar like a chair pose. So you and the knees you know, like semi sitting position and you want to give again nice base in your hands so bring it again a little bit outside of the straight line diagonal line mm -hmm. you want again to bring your working leg behind in this case so the same similar move preparation here and in the air you're grabbing your foot you straight the leg and this is the moment when you want to do inner rotation of the hip so think about curving your hips from the left to the right in my case so you grab the foot in the air give nice base in the hand your arm is still straight and then you start to do inner rotation lengthening your leg on the side and like this you bring maybe 
just in straight arms position. You can use again a supportive ankle here. Or maybe you will do full modification. So again, doing the cross, give support in the hand, grab the foot in the air maybe, and do an inner rotation, like sitting down, bending the elbow, holding the pose. So again, don't be afraid to stay just with the straight arms. This is the starting point. Not necessary to bend the elbow and to bring really whole weight in this position. It might be really challenging if you didn't build up the strength in your arms yet. Think about pressing down through the foot to the hand to keep the balance and also use supportive ankles so you really can bring the hip and a little bit cheating like this and holding the weight of your body with supportive ankle. And for this pose, of course, you want to work about flexibility and openness in your hip zone, in the hamstring. So think about poses to hold like lizard pose, like double pigeon pose, exactly this zone we will open. You can do also gomukasana, so also to work with both sides at the same time and of course you need some uh, strength in your arms so any chaturanga push-ups uh, any push-ups actually are good so i hope it was useful i want to encourage you do not think about uh, yoga poses uh, like something mysterious it's really nice to do your modifications so if you cannot bring completely your hips like this think about modifications that are comfortable uh, for your stay with the straight arms cheat a little bit use supportive blocks it's all fine uh, poses exist for you not vice versa so i hope it was useful if you have any comments or questions i'll leave them in the comments box and i see you next time see you on the mat and have a nice day